from Atri. First speaker is Apurva, who is a senior research associate at Atri. I turn on the tap at my home and outflows the elixir of life, water. Do we know how much water we use each day? If your house has a water meter, you may have some idea. Does our city water supply utility know how much water we use? Yes and no. In areas where water is supplied through pipes, they may have a larger picture of the bulk water supplied to each locality. After accounting for water loss through leaks along the way, they can guess the average daily water supplied to each household. But many smaller cities and towns in India don't meter their water. And if a significant amount of our water is also accessed from water tankers and bore wells, chances are that no one is tracking water access and use at all. People also supplement pipe supply with water from street taps and more recently, water ATMs. Then how do we manage water in our cities if we are not even aware of who gets water from where and how much? Traditionally, the only way to measure water access from multiple sources has been to ask people about it in household surveys. Now, for people who get all their water from a street tap, it is easy for them to recall how many pots they carried home. But for richer urban households, the big water users who get water in a tap, it is virtually impossible for them to guess. Let's see what happens at the household level. People get water into their house through taps via complicated in-house piping arrangements. Water from the pipe mains enters the house into the sump and is pumped into the overhead tank. It flows by gravity whenever the taps are turned on. To estimate water use, household questionnaire surveys ask people a variety of questions such as how many minutes they turn their pumps on, how often they turn their taps on and so on. But this type of estimation relies entirely on people's memories and responses. Therefore, in our study, we tried a completely different approach. In addition to household questionnaire surveys, we set up pressure sensors with built-in data loggers in the sums and overhead tanks of 83 households across Coimbatore City in Tamil Nadu. We continuously monitored water levels in these structures for two weeks at five-minute intervals. For the first time, this provided a very detailed micro-level picture of water supply by source, pumping, consumption, and even leaks. We then aggregated the data across 50 households. Let's now see how the sensor-based estimates compare against the traditional survey-based estimates. The first scatter plot compares estimates of water consumption based on how many minutes people have reported they pump water to their overhead tanks each day versus sensor-based estimates. The next scatter plot compares survey-based estimates of how much water people have stated they use for various end uses such as cooking, bathing and so on versus sensor-based estimates. If the survey estimates are good, we would expect the points to lie very close to the straight line which is clearly not the case here. This tells us that people tend to poorly estimate how much water they use and tend to completely miss out on leaks. The sensor-based approach also allows us to partition water supply by source, as you can see for this household, which accesses water from three sources. Our study allowed us to develop a holistic and accurate picture of urban water use from all sources. It allows us to understand if our current supply is equitable and sustainable. Water policy in India relies on good estimates of water use from all sources before and after interventions, such as new pipe supply projects or change in pricing. Our study offers a way to do this. Thank you.